Kirby was directed by Greta Gerwig and is the, the, the adaptation of the child's toy that's been out for so many years. Uh, so this movie has to do with Barbie, played by Margot Kidder, and Ken, played by uh, Ryan Gosling. And it's her, basically, in the Barbie world. And she's malfunctioning. She's starting to realize certain stuff. And she goes to, I, I can't remember what that land is called, the land of broken toys or something like that. And she discovers that she has to find the person that created her and the person that bought her. And she goes on a road trip to finding this person goes from the Barbie world to the real world and a lot of crazy stuff happens um I will say though I kind of wanted to see this movie um I've been hearing I've, I've heard about this um this project happening I think late last year um the, the one of the reasons I wanted to see this one of course is you know what when it comes to movies that go from uh, a animation to live action it interests me like um was it a year and a half ago when I saw the the Clifford big red dog movie that interested me but that was a good movie this one however it is a good movie but here's the weird thing though it's based on a child's toy that's been out I think for over 50 years but now and it's PG-13. I noticed that last week. I couldn't really understand why it had a PG-13 rating. But when you watch this movie, you can you can definitely tell why. Because I'm not going to say what they are, but there are some scenes or some stuff that they say that is adult content, basically. Half the time, this didn't really feel like a Barbie movie. It kind of felt like more of a spoof movie. Um, overall, I really did enjoy it. Um, you know, Margot Robbie, you know, she's a great actress. You know, I loved her since, you know, Birds of Prey. I mean, she does a great job playing Harley Quinn in those movies. Um, there's really nothing else I have to say about this. Um, other than it been a popular movie this weekend. Uh, I'll say that. What was interesting too was when um, I posted the picture of my ticket to, um, you know, on Instagram, and then I was tagging the actors. Um, I was trying. I was trying to remember who the actors were that were in this movie. When I looked it up, when I googled the movie, my phone well not my phone screen turned pink. So that was kind of funny it did that. And so it made me realize they were promoting... I mean, you're supposed to promote movies, but this one especially. It, it's funny what they do sometimes when a new movie comes out and they promote the hell out of it. This one especially. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this one a 7. There were, there were scenes where, you know, half the time I was like, eh kind of boring, but then it kind of picked up. Boring, picked up. But other than that, though, this is a movie I would probably... I would, I would probably get when it comes out the Blu-ray within two or three months from now. Um, I mean, is it perfect? No. It's not nothing perfect whatsoever. But it's a worth-watching movie. And, um... Yeah. Uh, again, I have nothing else to say about this movie, but go check it out. Um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.